I will explain how to check dead LED TV or LCD TV step by step. This is the first step. See here SMPS. From SMPS 5 volt standby voltage. This voltage come out from SMPS. You will see 5 volts is present means SMPS is ok. That voltage goes to LCD motherboard 3.3 volts regulator IC input 5 volts supply output 3.3 volts that voltage goes to main IC the after that voltage goes to power button you should check at power button 3.3 volts is ok means this all circuit is ok that means step 1 ok in some sets there is no SMPS adapter will come now I will explain that circuit this is adapter this voltage is 19 volts this voltage goes to in motherboard 3.3 volts regulator that voltage goes to 3.3 volts uh, after regulating 3.3 volts goes to main IC that voltage come out comes to power button you should check at power button 3.3 volts is ok means this circuit ok now we will see in circuit see here this is adapter from adapter 19 volt supply goes to MP1584 this is 3.3 volts regulator this is standby 3.5 volts input 19 volts output 3.5 volts this voltage goes to main IC MST 6841XP pin number 776254 after this voltage come out from this key button to power on or switch now we will see in circuit now we will see in circuit see here this orange color always voltage this is DC jack from here 19 volts come out from L701 coil after this voltage goes to IC701 V in pin number 7 when you give V in and enable pin this voltage goes to through 100k resistor enable pin of pin number 2 when you give V in and enable pin after pin number 1 switch output will come out from this place this voltage goes to through L702 this voltage come out from this place this standby 3.5 volts goes to uh, main IC now we will see main IC pin number 9 now we will see in here this voltage comes to 3.5 volts comes to in here L502 this is stand by 3.3 volts VDDC 3.3 volts and through this coil A VDD 3.3 volts AU 3.3 volts 3.3 volt DM PLL so we will see anywhere this is stand by voltage this voltage goes to a prom chip and serial flash IC pin number 8 this is supply pin next this voltage goes to pin number 77 62 and 54 this voltage goes to this pins after this voltage come out from this keyboard this is main IC in page number 29 page number 29 see here in here key key 1 key 2 so this voltage come out from this place this voltage goes to keypad that means key button now we will see at key button this is page number 20 control and key see here this goes to this place this is P120 keyboard connector so in this place 3.3 volts is ok means main IC have voltage or in here also 3.3 volts you will see in this place or in this place without seeing circuit you will see in this way now I will explain in same circuit in 
motherboard. Now we will see. See here, this is regulator 3.3 volts. So already I explained. This is DC jack. From this is DC jack. This voltage goes to 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator IC. This coil, this one. After this voltage goes to main IC and EPROM chip and BIOS chip. Now we will see in zoom. See here. This is DC jack JK700. JK700. This voltage goes to L701 to this IC. IC701. Now we will see this voltage goes to this line. See here. IC701. This is IC701. This is IC701. 8 pin IC. This is 8 pin IC. Uh, this is 7th pin input. After this, this is point dot pin number 1. So pin number 8. This one already they have given 5 and 8. So, pin number 7. That voltage goes to pin number 7. After when you give R701 through R701 enable pin voltage after this voltage come out from this place this voltage come out from this coil see here coil L702 this is L702 after this voltage goes to this main IC this main IC IC501 this voltage goes to this pins and EPROM IC Phi naught two and phi naught three. Phi naught two and phi naught three. Now we will see this is phi naught one. See here this is phi naught one. This IC, this main IC. This is a PROM chip. See here IC phi naught two, IC phi naught two and IC. This is flash memory and IC phi naught three. This is IC phi naught three this is IC503 so after this voltage come out from that place now we will see in IC701 see here L702 this is L702 in here 3.3 volts in here 19 volts we will see 19 volts input and 3.5 volts output now we will check adapter voltage is okay or not adapter here 19.11 volts 19.11 volts so adapter is okay adapter voltage is okay first step now we will see standby voltage uh, see ic 701 this is standby 3.5 volts now we will see its coil l702 this coil l702 We will see how much voltage. Three point three volts. In here, three point three volts. So standby voltage is okay. Standby voltage is okay. There is no voltage. You should check this IC. L seven not one L seven not one I see step to B L C D L E D repair step to B already in step one we completed uh, three point three volts regulator voltage goes to main IC three point three volts. So when you give three point three volts supply this is one two reset when you give reset and clock signal from crystal when you give supply reset and clock signal main IC will start function this IC release CS signal to BIOS SPI ROM after this signal come out from serial data and serial 6 uh, serial clock so we will see this signals in with CRO this signal is okay means main IC is okay CS signal is okay means main IC okay this data signal is ok means bias chip is ok without pressing power button we will see this signals now we will see in circuit now we will see in here this is main IC 
this is power supply already standby supply 77 62 54 when you give supply and reset there is no reset pin we will see in circuit next this is clock signal 24 megahertz that is connected with 39 and 40 pins when you give supply reset clock signal immediately this signal come out from spi cz that is ccs signal from pin number 97 this signal goes to uh, this is memory ic ic 502 after this ic release clock signal and data d0 d1 and clock signals we will see this all signals cs signal pin number 97 in here pin number 1 signal is okay means main ic is okay startup ic is okay there is this signal clock signal and data signal is okay means bias chip is okay this will see in cro now we will see in circuit this is reset ic this is flash serial flash ic this is main ic when you give supply this orange color supply and reset from here reset uh, this voltage goes to this pin pin number 119 this goes to this place and when you give supply reset and clock signal from crystal this is crystal when you give this crystal signal immediately the cs signal come out from this place that goes to this flash ic ic502 pin number 1 when you give supply reset clock signal to this ic immediately this ic release cs signal to this ic pin number 1 when you give supply and CS signal, immediately this signal come out from this place. This signal goes to this place, serial data, serial clock. So you will see in here pin number 1, CS signal. That signal work okay means this IC is okay. Now we will see that in June. Now we will see this is CS signal. This is board. This 501 IC, this is 501 IC. This is 502, this is 502 IC. This is F from Pi naught 3, this is Pi naught 3, this is this IC, H reset IC Pi naught 4, this is Pi naught 4. Now we will see in zoom in here. See here, this is Pi naught 1, this is Pi naught 1 IC, this is main IC. When you give supply, this orange color supply, reset, reset voltage come out from this IC. You will see in here, we will zoom again, see here. IC 504 3 pin IC hardware reset this is 504 this is 504 this is 504 this is reset reset voltage goes to this pin uh, this reset voltage goes to main IC and this is a prompt chip see here 502 this is 502 when you give supply reset clock signal this CS signal goes to pin number 1 this blue color CS signal next D0 this one pin number 2 next D1 pin number 5 pin number 5 this so serial clock this one pin number 6 this is supply pin number 8 pin number 8 supply in here CS signal pin number 1 next this is pin number 2 D0 this is D1 signal you will see in here clock signal so we will check this signals with the CRO so cs signal is okay means the chip is okay there is no signal we will see this clock signal and reset supply uh, this cs signal okay means supply reset clock signal is okay mm, that you will see the any ic you will see pin number one spi rom pin number one signal is there means this main ic is okay next after you will see pin number two or six this signal okay means bias chip is okay so without pressing power button this signals will come now we will see step 3 after pressing power button what happened see here this is bias ic pin number 1 cs signal now we will see in here bias signal this one cs signal that means this signal is okay in here pin number 1 cs signal pin number 1 cs signal that is in here pn number 1 we will see pin number one signal that means uh, main processing ic is okay with this is standby in standby in standby that signal okay 
that means here signal is okay now we will see data pin number 2 we will see in data we will see in data signal see here data signal this one we will adjust this so data is okay in standby mode in standby mode data is okay so bias ic is okay now we will see pin number 6 clock signal pin number 6 clock signal we will see pin number 6 4 5 6 mm, 6 we will see pin number 6 clock signal this is clock signal sck so that means bias ic is okay in standby mode without pressing power button stand mode mode that signal is okay now this is crystal 24 megahertz without pressing power button this is standby mode we will see in signal this is crystal signal 24 megahertz we will see measurement also now i will we will see in measurement frequency how much is there hmm. you see in here 24 megahertz in frequency 24 megahertz so exact frequency is there in here exact frequency that frequency in here frequency you will see in this way also if you want signal you will go in this way this is the signal